Hello, my beloved mushroom family. How have you been? In today's video, I would like to talk about what tools you need to collect mushroom in the wood. Mushroom foraging is not an easy job. There are plenty of things you should think of before going on a field trip. The following list gives you examples of what you should bring with you to forage mushroom. Number one, knife. It is important to get right tools for mushroom foraging. A good sharp knife is essential for mushroom picking. Mushrooms have all different kinds of shapes and texture. For soft and tender mushrooms, you can pick them up easily with your hand. However, when you see tough and big mushrooms, the knife is your good friend. Well, if you encounter super tough mushroom like an artist conch, it is basically like a piece of wood chunk. You probably need a saw. Number two, camera. Camera or your phone is a good tool for making a record of what you see. If you're not sure what mushroom you find, you can always compare your photos with a reference in the book or on the internet or even upload the photos on social media to get opinions from experts. There are also apps that you can use. For example, my favorite app is iNaturalist. There are a lot of mushroom experts who can help to identify on that app. You just need to make sure to offer as many details as possible that you can to describe the mushroom. Caps, gills, pores, spore colors, or even microscopic structures. By the way, iNaturalist also have a website version too. Identification of mushroom will be a separate topic and I will cover it in my future videos. Please stay tuned. Number three, jewelry magnifier. Another good tool is a magnifier. To be specific, a jewelry magnifier. When you see tiny mushrooms and you want to observe the delicate micro features of the mushroom, a jewelry magnifier will help you to see it clearly. Tiny mushroom examples will be Mycena or Maracemias. The magnifier will also help you to see details of a slime mold or tiny Ascomycetes fungus. Number four, sample box. For those who wanted to collect mushroom for further study, a segmented plastic box will be a decent choice for mushroom storage. One thing you need to be careful is that when it is in summer, mushroom will, be, will deteriorate very fast in an enclosed environment. So you probably need to put some dry cloth or paper towel on the top to prevent the mushroom rotting. In addition, instead of closing the box completely, you can use rubber band to gently wrap around the box and it will give some extra space for the moisture to dissipate from the container. Number five, miscellaneous tools. There are some other miscellaneous tools that you can use. For example, you probably want to bring a metallic ruler to take pictures together with the mushrooms. That will help you to measure the size of the mushroom. In the meantime, a brush is also helpful because sometimes mushrooms are buried in fallen leaves or dirt. You may want to use a brush to clean it before you bring it back home. I sometimes carry a shovel with me in the forest. Some mushrooms have extra long stems and hide underneath the soil. In that case, when necessary, you need to use a shovel to dig them up. Number six, container. The last tool you need is a basket or a bag when you're intending to collect mushroom for culinary use. Good baskets are those ones made of woven willows, wood, or seagrass. They are breathable and allow air to pass through. Plastic baskets are not ideal. They may cause mushroom rotting during the foraging trip, especially under hot weather or high temperature. If the basket is too much for you to carry, a long plastic bag is a good choice also, like this bag I got from Trader Joe's, made of cellulose fiber. If you really, really want to bring a plastic bag, 
please do not stay in the wood for too long when picking mushroom. By the way, please do not litter in the forest and be a good citizen for our planet. Finally, it is possible to lose all these small things on the field trip. Based on my own experience, I have lost several knives, rulers, brushes during the foraging trip. Especially after I got so excited to take pictures of mushrooms and I forgot to pick them up. What I learned and improved is to get a shoulder strap with hooks by connecting these tools together and putting them around your neck. And you won't lose them again. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new and different this time. In my future videos, I will talk about other preparations for mushroom foraging trip. Stay tuned my mushroom family and thank you very much for watching. If you like this content and please smash the like button, subscribe and share the video with your friends. See you next time. Bye. Hello. Bye.